Hey friends, my name is Siddharth Singha. I am a software developer and today I'm going to show you about anagram. So anagram is a word or phrase that if we rearrange, uh, we can rearrange from another word and still make it meaningful. So I have given some examples over here. For example, rat, if I rearrange these words uh, into and I could get uh, so these two words are anagram of each other. Same goes for taste and state. If I if I had tasty and state, uh, they these two don't match. Uh, so these are not uh, anagrams. So these are a couple of examples. Now I'll show you on the code how it, uh, we can do it in C sharp. So first of all, I'll uh, uh, enter the string, the first string. I'll consume it and store it in a variable str1. Same for string two, I would store it in str2. Now what I would want to do is I want to, first of all, I want to uh, convert to lowercase because I could have a capital R over here and then small r. Uh, and if I add it in the code, it would uh, give me not anagram. So I need to make sure that both uh, are same the uh, uh, the cases are same for both uh, so I'm going to add two lower here and I'm going to convert my string into a, a string of characters uh, sorry characters and store it in ch1 so the string would be lowercase and converted into characters and store it in ch1 same for ch2 now what I would do is uh, the characters that I have, I would want to sort. So in C sharp array, we have a method called sort and it would sort the characters. For example, rat. So the first alphabet I would get as A and then maybe R and then T alphabetically. Uh, once I have sorted both the characters, the set of characters, I would again convert it into string, new string and convert it to val1 and then val2. Once I have uh, the strings that is sorted, um, I will check if value one and value two are equal. If they are equal, they are anagrams. If not, they are not anagrams. So let me run it. So I'm going to uh, go with the second one. Paste. Paste and then save. So these are anagram of each other and it shows anagram. Uh, yep. By str1. Str2. Same for here. Right. So if I said tasty and date, date, these shouldn't be anagrams of each other. They are not anagrams, right? Tasty and date are not anagrams. So let's see how it works. I'm going to add a debug point over here. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a capital R rat and then uh capital t a r notice that r is capital here and same for t so it, it is all handled when we add the two lowercase uh, method into it i'm going to hit enter uh, now i'm in the debug point i have str1 as rat and dark so string one would be lowercase and converted into characters and stored in ch1 you would see that all lowercase are a and t right same for ch2 t a and r now i'm going to use the sort method and it would sort uh, alphabetically a r t and again it should show me a r t now once i have sorted uh, both these set of characters I am going to convert it into string again val1 art val2 art it will if an else condition simple if both values are 
same they are an anagram if not uh, not anagram since it satisfy the condition it will go inside the code and it will print 0 and 1 str1 and str2 are that way I get the value are anagrams. Thank you.